Okay, so today is our uh, first class of chemistry A2 and the chapter that we are going to discuss today is um, the first chapter of chemistry A2, it's the lattice energy, okay, lattice energy. So now uh, before uh, going into further details, let's learn that what do we mean by the term lattice energy, okay? Look, um, just imagine like a sodium ion in gaseous state, okay? So this is a sodium positive ion in gaseous state and imagine a chloride ion which is also in gaseous state okay so what will happen this um, this sodium ion and this chloride ion they will attract each other by a strong electrostatic force of attraction and then sit together to form NaCl and this NaCl is an ionic solid all right so where the gaseous ions are coming together due to electrostatic force of attraction forming the ionic solid sodium chloride okay so when the gaseous ions are coming together to form the ionic solid then what happens is that look <coughs> uh, in gases okay uh, in gases when anything is in gaseous state this has got a very uh, a very high kinetic energy okay but when they combine together to form solid and in solid we know the particles move through a very short distance that means the particles in solid have lower kinetic energies okay so when um, you are shifting from gaseous state to solid state you must be losing kinetic energy so the amount of kinetic energy lost when gaseous ions are uh, combining together to form the ionic solid the amount of energy that is lost is what we are calling it as the lattice energy or lattice enthalpy okay so this is what the lattice enthalpy is now that the lattice enthalpy so uh, uh, the thing that is very important to learn here is that the lattice enthalpy uh, depends on several factors and before going into further details we need to know the factors okay just uh, tell me that why this uh, why the solids are coming together sorry why the gaseous ions are coming together to form the ionic solid this is because this is because of the attractive force between them all right the attractive force that is operating between them which we are calling it as the strong electrostatic force of attraction so uh, just imagine that if the attractive force between the ions is greater that means if the ions attract each other by a stronger attractive force then what happens is that uh, if the attractive force between the ions is greater then the particles in solid state will have much much more less amount of kinetic energy much much uh, less amount of kinetic energy isn't it because the solids are because the particles are attracting each other very strongly and uh, and they are uh, holding them together also very strongly so they will have much less kinetic energy so which means more energy more kinetic energy will be lost when they are turning from the gaseous state to the 
solid state is not it. So, uh, the lattice energy will be more that means, if the attraction between the uh, gaseous ions is greater then the amount of energy that will be lost while forming the ionic solid will be more that means, the lattice energy will be more. Okay? So, if we try to express this in a graph then um, okay, for example, uh, this is a graph of lattice energy. Remember lattice energy is the amount of energy lost when gaseous ions are forming ionic solids lattice energy and this is the attractive force and the graph uh, the graph would on overall would look like this okay as the attractive force between the uh, gaseous ions increase then the amount of energy lost that means the lattice energy will also increase why because uh, since the ions are attracting each other very strongly so when they are forming the ionic solid <coughs> when they are forming the ionic solid then in the solid state the ions are also holding each other very strongly and not allowing each other to move that means they have lost almost all of their kinetic energies okay so now let's see that which factors uh, affects the attractive force or attraction force okay so uh, the thing is that you need to know that attraction force or force of attraction will be directly proportional to a physical quantity known as charge density okay so the force of attraction will be directly proportional to the charge density okay now uh, what do you mean by the term charge density okay look listen uh, charge density is actually a ratio you can say it as a ratio which is the um, product of charges product of charges divided by uh, sum of their radius squared okay sum of the radius of the charged particle squared or you can simply say like this that charge density is directly proportional to charge charge divided by Uh, divided by radius of ion okay all right so this is what we are calling it as the charge density you can remember either uh, the formula direct or you can just re remember the proportional relation so so um, if the value of charge increases if the value of charge increases then the charge density will increase okay and if the radius of ion increases then charge density will decrease that is the relation and the attractive force between the ions is directly proportional to the charge density of an ion okay so, um, now what you have to learn is that although this chapter has got the name lattice energy, but you have to learn many other enthalpy changes in this chapter, uh, all of which are related to the lattice energy. Like first of all, um, uh, okay, you have studied the lattice energy, then you have to study hydration okay hydration then third uh, you have to study many enthalpy changes that you have already gone through in your AS level course like atomization 
atomization then ionization okay atomization then ionization then um, here's a new term that you will be studying in your A2 level it's the electron affinity okay electron affinity okay so I think this hydration and electron affinity is new for your A2 level still I will go through each of them and trying to uh, uh, cover it so that you will have a short revision okay so first of all let's go to hydration sorry hydration okay so what is hydration look hydration the term hydra or hydro is present here which means that uh, they must be soluble uh, or sorry something related to water isn't it so okay so um, the hydration enthalpy or hydration energy is the energy change or enthalpy change when a gaseous ion for example Na plus when a gaseous ion is dissolved in water is dissolved in water to form aqueous ion plus aqueous ion isn't it so when a gaseous ion dissolves in water to form aqueous ion we uh, we all uh, the enthalpy change that occurs in this case is called the hydration enthalpy okay so what happens is uh, what happens when an ion is dissolved in water uh, this is not only in the case of positive ion this is also the same case is also in um, in the in terms of negative ions too like chloride ion gaseous when it dissolves in water it forms chloride ion aqueous okay now why is that energy is given out when gaseous ions are dissolves when gaseous ions are being dissolved in water look for example a sodium I'm bored of sodium let's try calcium so calcium 2 plus okay so when calcium is dissolved in water uh, when the gaseous calcium ion is dissolved in water then what happens is that this calcium ion you know that water has got uh, water has got two terminals right and uh, the oxide has got a slightly negative terminal the hydrogen has got slightly positive terminals okay all right so what happens is that when calcium dissolves in water since calcium is positive so the negative terminal of water which is the oxygen oxygen gathers around calcium gathers around calcium slightly negative I will be drawing a few of them slightly negative um, slightly negative all right so what happens is that um, this oxygen terminal forms electrostatic attraction force with the um, ion electrostatic attractive force with the ion this means attractive force is being formed and when this attractive force is formed all these uh, attractive force formation releases energy okay so the amount of in these uh, these energies uh, these energies that are released I'm coloring them yellow these energies that are released when a gaseous ion is dissolved in water so that water molecules from attractive force with the ions is known as the hydration energy okay 
So, when an ion dissolves in water, when an ion dissolves in water, this is always the case. Like, let me draw it in case of chlorine. Cl minus. Okay, so Cl is negative, and we know that the hydrogen terminal of water is pos uh, positive. So, what would happen is that uh, the hydrogen terminal would get closed, isn't it? Like this, forming a layer forming a, la a layer around the ion, forming a continuous layer around the ion, okay, hydrogen terminals. So, these are the attractive forces. These are the attractive forces. So, the, uh, the covering so, we might imagine it in this way that a water molecule covers the whole ion by um, making a covering around that ion and the covering is produced uh, due to the uh, opposite charge attraction like if the ion is positive then it will attract the oxygen terminal of water because it is negative, is not it? So, many water molecules will gather around the ion and form a cover. I mean, uh, acts like a shield or acts like a cover. The uh, this uh, this covering of water or this layer of water around the ion we called the uh, hydration shell. Okay, so uh, here uh, here this seems to be like a hydration shell. Uh, here this seems to be like a hydration shell. Okay, so hydration shell. Okay, so that's the hydration energy. Okay, again here in case of chlorine, now these attractive forces are formed. So when these attractive forces are formed, energy is released from here because the ions would lose their kinetic energy. So the energy that is being lost is what we are calling it as the hydration energy. So hydration energy is the energy lost when gaseous ions are dissolved in water. Okay. All right. So that's we have where we started. Okay, so that's a short video on lattice energy. We will be right back again in the next class, uh, and we'll be discussing about the topics of the other enthalpy changes. Then we will study about Born, Haber. I'm not sure about the spelling. Born Haber cycle. Okay, then we will be studying the ion polarization and many other things. Okay, so that's all for today. Since this is the first video of chemistry A2 class of the new batch, so I'm uh, making the video short and make sure that you have understood all the contents. And if you do have any problem, please inform me. In the comment section uh, in the you uh, in the YouTube or the uh, or in my Facebook group or in my Facebook page of Science Academy okay thank you that's all for today